Gee, that's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Let me ask you. All right, I better wait a minute. When you first made that song, did you have any idea when you heard it played back to you in the studio that was going to be a smash hit? Uh, well, it's hard to imagine what a smash hit is when you've never had one, but um, we felt something real strong in the studio. There's a magic that you feel, you know? Was that the one you picked to be released as a single? Did everybody agree on that? Yes. All right, now, I want to jump back to something before I was talking to the guy who was a cheerleader. He never gets nervous anymore. Were you nervous the first time you set foot on stage, and what were you doing? Were you singing, acting? First time was in uh, high school, and I, was, uh, the lead, I had the lead in a musical. I was not as nervous as I should have been, I think. You were at home on the stage? I feel very at home. I, I love um, I love the people. I love them. They're, they're the other half of me, you know? You know what? I, I There must be something to that, because everybody I've ever talked to, I have never seen this lady except on television, and I've never seen you perform in, in person, and whoever sees you says fabulous things. They say, you got to see her. Uh, I don't know how I did this in the last interview when I talked to Janet. I embarrassed her. Why is it you have that wonderful magic? Did you learn it? Did you study it? I don't think it's something that um, you can study. You know, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to answer this. I, it, to me, it's the people. The people give it to me. Yeah. You know. Do you give a lousy performance if the audience is bad? No. No, but I mean, you know, it's very often. I often said to people who become an audience, if you give to the performer, they kill themselves. They go crazy. Why did you make this record in Hollywood if your home's in New York? Well, my producer Jack White um, lives here. And uh, he knew all the musicians here and everything, and he brought this song to me, so we did it here. <laughs> You're just starting out. What do you hope for the next 10 years? This is a wonderful beginning. What do you hope happens? It is a wonderful beginning, and um, I just always want to sing. I'd love to act in films. I'd love to really do everything, you know, the stage, films, and sing. Yay! <laughs> Much good luck. Thank you for joining us. What's the next song called? Uh, Living a Lie. Ladies and gentlemen, Laura Brannigan.